Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Pet. Now, a couple of weeks ago on the channel, I drove a Lancia Delta Integrale, and I mentioned my mate, Ellis. And I might have said that Ellis was pretty keen on Integrales. Well, he's invited me along today to Integrale heaven, because Ellis, along with his good friend Keith, run Automoda, perhaps the UK's largest seller of Integrales, the best specialist, and actually arguably even one of the world's largest sellers of Integrales. And Keith also runs Auto Integrale, and he basically does all the spannering, the prepping and the um, maintenance of the cars. And in this little garage, we have some unbelievable cars. Just to give you an idea, by the way, these two here, they are both for sale actually, but they're very, very special limited edition cars. And the kind of money you're looking at now for a really good Integrale like that, you can easily be paying 80,000 pounds. Now, we're not here today to drive a road-going Integrale, beautiful as these are, and actually Ellis's own Giallo Limited Edition is literally just parked over there and looking beautiful. But I couldn't be here and not show you Ellis's rally car, because it's parked just here. This thing, sensational. Yep, here it is. How stunning is this car? Now then, this isn't a works car. By the way, if a works Integrale, you're probably looking at, I don't know, 400,000 quid, or maybe even more, depending on its provenance. This was originally a road car and then converted into a rally car, but it's been done really, really well. Just to give you an idea, by the way, these iconic martini livery stripes, they're not decals, that is paint. These have been hand painted on and then all the decals, the other, the martini stuff, that's, they are all stickers. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's been prepared so well, inside is just brilliant. And it has this, this rally car smell in there a kind of mix of oil and petrol and just testosterone it's just fantastic absolutely stunning stunning vehicle now this you're probably looking at i don't know a hundred grand plus for this car it is beautiful it sounds amazing and you never know at the end of this video i might even take this out for a quick spin because ellis has said i can drive it and well, if you've got an opportunity to drive that, well, you would, wouldn't you? But that's not the main purpose of me being here. The car I'm actually here to drive is parked just there. And it is a classic Italian rally car with a very, very special story. Any of you guys play Gran Turismo? You'll be interested in this then. Yes, this stunning little thing is a 1971 Lancia Fulvia Fanaloni. Now, one of the things I love about Italian is fanaloni. What an amazing sounding word. What that actually means, if you literally translate it, is big headlamps. <laughs> so this is a limited edition car. I think they only made about 2,000 of them. But yeah, it's no, that's, that's the trademark feature, if you like. But it is a beautiful car. But the reason I mentioned Gran Turismo is this car was very recently used by Sony um, to go into the Gran Turismo game and they took the car away, they did a full 3D render of the car, they then took it to a rolling road and fully mapped the, the um, if you like, the output of the car so that they could put that into the game to make driving the car as realistic as possible. So if you're on Gran Turismo and you're driving the Lancia Fulvia Fanaloni, you're actually driving this very car. But it's just beautiful and I, I really love this car and although Keith wasn't very impressed when I mentioned this this morning. Because in the series, first series of Vintage Voltage, we actually took a Lancia Fulvia and electrified it. Somehow I don't think we would electrify this one because it's very special, but have a look inside. Inside is just lovely. This is stunning. First things first, it is tiny. But it's just so cool in here. The, the instruments, there's nothing on there that hasn't got a function. And the steering wheel and the way the, the gear levers just there, these cool bucket seats, it's 
utterly wicked in here and I can't wait to drive it. Um, now, let's have a quick look underneath the bonnet because whenever I do cars like this, if I don't show the engine, people get the hump. And then as soon as we've had a look underneath the bonnet, we will uh, take this car up the road for a bit of a spin before the weather comes in and it starts to rain. Very cool. Yes, under here is something very, very special, but it's quite tricky to get this bonnet open. It's got bonnet pins, which I've released. Here we go. So this is a little 1.6 litre. It's got twin Webers. It's got a group for uh, manifold and the Fanalonis were uh, known for having this uh, yellow and blue um, engine cover there. And they took this up from about 115 horsepower to 164 horsepower, which back in the day was a lot. But I can't wait to hear what this car is like when it's out and about driving, because I just, with the Webers and the kind of rally exhaust, it's just gonna sound brilliant and go brilliant. So let's get some cameras set up and take this up the road and have a drive of a 1971 Lancia Fulvia Fanaloni. Ready? Here we are again. Well, welcome to the channel again. <laughs> You're maybe one of my most regular contributors, my friend. Okay. Because you've got so many bloody lovely cars. This thing is a proper special car. It is. It's lovely. And I, I although it's tiny in here, I am amazed at how much legroom I've got. It's actually a really, I think, a rallying in this. Well, I think it suits you. We'll have a chat after. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, how do we turn it on? Ignition pump there. Yeah. Starter to the left. First, that way and back. Oh, is it dog leg? Yeah. Oh, cool. And, and then brakes off. Fly off. Is it off already? Yeah. So then, tell me about this car, mate, because it is. It is a proper special car. Firstly, it's a year older than me. So this is a Group 4. Uh, no power steering. No, 1600 HF fan loading. Uh, it's full rally spec. <laughs> Even at slow speed, you can feel how special this car is. The, it's a beautiful car. It's the attention to detail with everything. Yeah. Um, one of the best that I've come across. Yeah. And um, so this car, it's been rallied. It has. It's got all the Monte Carlo rally. Uh, it has, it's got a, it's, it's a fully logbook car. It's, 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 um, it's got an MSA logbook. It's got a historic passport. And it, well, straight off the bat, it drives lovely, it's not, Clutch is nice. The, obviously, I'm on the left-hand side of the car, as you should be. As I should be. Yeah. Basically, all the cars in your garage. <laughs> oh look, there's another Integrale there. Look. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about tell us about the um, the tie-up with Sony and uh, and Gran Turismo because that's just the coolest thing ever. So we were contacted by Sony. I'm not clear. All good. Yep. Had 
experience to drive at one of these on a rally stage um, or, or a track. Uh, but um, I've been a passenger at one. Um, there's a good friend of ours, and he's got one. And you really one, one of these little things can, can outdrive some very special cars. You, you've really got to get it up on the cam, haven't you? That's yeah, what, you have. Yeah, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like being driven sedately. No. <laughs> So we're back at Automoda. What a beautiful little car that is. Uh, really stunning. The thing is when you drive these older cars, every noise, every bang and clonk, you're like, oh, is that okay? And it is okay, because that's just how they were. And I'm sure with more seat time, it's certainly one of these cars that it really, you need it up on cam. It needs to be up above about 4,000 RPM. It will easily rev up to 7,000 RPM, but it's not my car. I don't know it. I know it's a very, very valuable car. That's like about 95,000 quid's worth of car, that is properly, properly special. Probably one of the best examples, not just in the UK, but there is. It's just stunning. But we are now gonna pop out in Ellis's rally car. This is very, very loud. <laughs> it's just had a new exhaust on it, so it's even louder than the last time I saw it. But it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, and you know, if you think about the Integrale I drove a couple of weeks ago, that track car, that was a, you know, a, a beautiful little thing, sounded amazing, but that, this is a no holes barred, almost perfect rally car. Every expense has been, has been met and paid and it is beautiful and I cannot wait to drive it. So it does need some fuel, so we need to drive it to the petrol station first, but then I'm finally gonna get to drive Ellis's rally car. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> now this is quite a thing. This is a proper, proper rally car. This does just, I, I am, I am Mickey Biazion or you are Kankanen. You are Kankanen or... Oh, mate. Carlos Sainz. You just, you can smell it and feel it in it. It's exceptional. So this is a full FIA approved rally spec everything. 
it's ready to go, everything's in date. Seats, harnesses, extinguishers. Spare wheel in the back. Yep. Helmet and hands device in the back, everything. Just need your overalls and your gloves and off you go. Oh, oh mate, don't, don't tempt me. Wow, what a thing. So where on earth do you go to start this thing? Yeah. Um, kill switch. Yeah. So just that one? No, red switch to the left. Lift uh, it up. Oh. That's it. I'll switch it on for you. Yeah. That it? That's it. And press and the start it. button. This has got really good. 
mate, that is unbelievable. Major moment. Jesus. All my days, <laughs> we are back in one piece. That, that's a sensational car. Um, I'm actually quite lost for words. I've never been in a car that has so much boost. When that comes on boost, it is literally a case of hold on tight. And the noise it makes, and the theater, and, and the specialness of the car. It's just unbelievable. It's made my year driving that, I have to say. But, um, you know, we've come, you know, we were just saying how We've kind of driven two amazing Lancia rally cars. The little Fulvia there, 160 odd horsepower. This four wheel drive, 370 horsepower, but both great in their own way. Now I have to say a massive thank you to Ellis and to Keith for inviting me down here. I mean, just look, I am surrounded by all kinds of stunning rally goodness. We haven't even talked about this bad boy here, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful cars, amazing. Um, day and I, I, you know, look at that. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I'll put auto motors details 
uh, down below. Make sure you follow them on Instagram because they've got a really cool Instagram account. They've got some stunning cars here. Um, but yes, with a little Fulvia and Delta Integrale in the background. I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.